Hey guys, Tyler V here. Been a little while, just about two years, but I'm back. But instead of doing just Photoshop tutorials and photography stuff, we're going to dive into a little bit of design and uh, interactive web-related work, because uh, that's where my field has taken me. Um, so that's what I've been doing, and I feel like sharing some of that with you guys. What we're going to be doing today um, is looking at a little piece I built for a Tumblr blog, my Tumblr blog, um, that's got my tutorials on it. This uh, ask page, a lot. I'm sure you guys have seen uh, Tumblr blogs that have ask pages, um, it's forward slash ask. Um, but I wanted to do something a little different because I didn't. I felt like it was a small enough piece um, to just go ahead and, and throw it on whatever page you're already on, rather than jumping to a separate page. So if you click this, it just throws it up here on the bottom. Click anywhere outside the page, and it closes down. Click on the thing, it closes down, or you can ask whatever kind of crazy question you want to. But rather than show you how I did it on this one, we're going to use a little bit more applicable um, use case and do it on a Tumblr theme on my uh, test blog over here. Um, paper first. Uh, obviously, you've got a little bit of a residue from when I was trying to work on this before. Getting things ready for y'all, you know. So, first thing we're going to need to do um, is make sure that we have uh, ask questions enabled. So, we head to your Tumblr page, click on little gear, and make sure you have that uh, checkbox uh, clicked. And then you can put in whatever title you want. Save that. So that's, we're good to go there. Now we're going to go into our HTML. So if you go to your blog and you click the customize, it'll bring up this page which then you can click edit HTML and you can dive into this hot mess. All these, for our purposes, we'll be scrolling down to the bottom. Get rid of that for now. And that, because that's what we'll be adding. Uh, at this point, if you haven't already, whatever um, page or, or if you're YouTube, Vimeo, or on my blog, whatever, um, there's going to be a link uh, probably in the description somewhere to this um, uh, HTML document that you can download. Um, so you'll want to go there, find wherever it is, and grab it because these are the assets that we'll be using that I've made available um, for y'all. And on this page, once you're here, um, the first thing we're going to want to do is grab this guy right here and actually plug in whatever your name is because this is the iframe, the little piece, the little window that you saw that we're going to be using, but you need to put in your own blog. For my purposes, that's paper first not fist, paper first, so put yours, whatever yours is, uh, in there, because we'll be needing that. And then, next thing we're going to want to do is look for our uh, our ask block, our, our link block that uh, has those questions, so that people can click on that. And we It's at the bottom of this page. I have no idea where it'll be in yours, but for mine, it's down here towards the bottom, block ask enabled. So this is it right here. And if you don't have it anywhere, you can just go ahead and put it in there. Copy that whole piece and put it in. I'm going to go after the A tag and just add that class uh, to this this tag here. That's all we need to do for that. Um, go back here. We're going to grab our iframe, which is using this class name ask which we'll be pulling in with our CSS the styles for that I'm gonna put this right after the footer right towards the bottom because that's where it's showing up so right before the body tag right after the footer tag if you don't have a footer tag don't worry about it just right before the body update save that alright now we're gonna go to our CSS which is styling because if you look at it right now this looks just horrible because it's showing up right now which is not what we want we want it to hide until we click um, the link so we're gonna add in our CSS which will style and position that um, you'll you'll notice now that it's gone that it's not there anymore um, and that's mainly to do with this bottom negative positioning um, which is pulling it down below the page and then the job the JavaScript when you click on that link is actually going to pull that uh, that bottom back to zero, we're just going to throw that right back up 
um, like you saw on that example page I showed you. Save that, go back here. Now we're ready for our JavaScript. I'm going to grab this piece first because this is going to go on the bottom, and then the universal script is going to go on the top. Go back and edit this. I'm going to have a little trick here. If you click anywhere in here and you want to get to the bottom, rather than like if you're at the top and you want to get to the bottom without scrolling, you can just hold down Command or Control and then click the down arrow key. It'll throw you all the way down to the bottom. Pretty handy. Um, this is going to go right in here, right before the body tag again, our script. And you'll notice some of these selectors, which were bits and pieces of our names here, and those all relate to each other. Um, so that the right things happen at the right times to the right things. Update and save that. And now ready for a universal script, which goes to the top. And you may or may not have this universal script. This is just the JavaScript library um, JavaScript. Like it's the base script so that like it's like Legos, man. It's like it's like the instructions. Like that piece at the bottom was like all the Lego piece, like it was the instructions, and then this piece is like all the Lego bits. Like you have to have these to be able to build anything. Otherwise it's just instructions. I'm sure that made wonderful perfect sense. Uh, I'm gonna put this I'm actually gonna put mine uh, I'll put it up here with the rest of the rest of the links and scripts. Nah, yeah, I will. Ah, so confusing. I'll just put it here. It'll show up beautifully. We can save that. Invalid HTML. Well, shoot. And then close that and we'll see if it works. That invalid HTML, don't don't take it seriously. It's not even true. And there you go. Working wonderfully. That's pretty much all there is to it. Now you can uh, use that. If they didn't have JavaScript installed, um, that would uh, throw them straight to the uh, forward slash ash page, which is what you would want anyway, so that's good. And uh, these pieces, if you wanted to adjust a few things, if you wanted the um, scroll time to be a little longer, you could adjust this second value here to be a whole second or something like that. Um, you got width here you can adjust. That's all in your um, customize. CSS down here, you can adjust those things. Very nice. That's pretty much all there is to it. Again, make sure you find this document so you have all these pieces. That should be on my uh, tylervdh.tumblr.com. Once I get this post up, I'll put it in one of these posts and uh, you'll have a link to that asset to be able to use. Thanks for watching. Hope to do a few more of these in the future. Uh, if you have any requests or things that you'd like to know, just go over to the to the blog and uh, use that uh, handy little thing we just built and uh, ask me a question. Thank you very much.